Okay, here we go. It's Brandon Ellis with the Stargazer. Take it away, Brandon. All right, guys, welcome to Stargazer, where we gaze to the stars and look at the latest in science fiction and how it relates to our small little planet Earth. So today, I'm going to talk about a show that recently wrapped up its season two, and that is Black Lightning. Now, Howie, have you ever heard of Black Lightning? I have not. What about Green Lightning? I've heard of Green Lightning. <laughs> okay. Black Lightning is different from Green Lightning because instead of focusing about the environment, it focuses more on actually blackness. So, it's a show on the CW. With the CW and the su superhero shows, you have your Arrows, your Flash, your Supergirls, your Legends of Tomorrow, but they sort of act like sitcoms. Usually there's an important plot, then there's that other side plot that's really not important, so it's probably about a relationship, or something stupid, or about a character crying a lot. And it feels like Full House instead of a solid, uh, deep, science fiction superhero show. And that's where Black Lightning comes in. Ta stealing the thunder of the other shows, pun entirely intended there. And with the show, what makes it so special, I said before, it's, um, it's blackness. What it actually does, so it's very obvious that it's uh, starred, it's led by a black hero. And with that, you get the, a black culture that you're not going to get with other shows, really. Again, it's, uh, you have other mediums like Black Panther or even Luke Cage on Netflix that really encourage that black culture, but for the DC world, for the DC universe, that company, they finally get that black touch. So not only do you see the culture, you also get a lot with the soundtrack as well. So you'll hear a lot from 70s, 80s, 90s, up until now, music from now that really uh, strengthens black culture and puts it as a part of, a part of the show. It's not just the soundtrack, it really is a piece of the show and has that touch. So when you get those old retro 70s horns that you'd get from uh, music at the time, from black culture, think of Black Lightning, because they're doing that, they're making it modern, they're making it strong. But not only that, what really stands it apart from the other CW shows, again, it's less of a sitcom. Things actually happen each episode matters rather than okay. They learn something about their feelings. Now they're gonna, now they're gonna um, sing kumbaya until the next episode where they start crying a little more. Things actually happen in the show. Every episode, when there's a plot that happens, when there's uh, something that happens to a character, you feel it. It makes sense. There's drama. There's weight to just about everything. And lastly, a point I have to make that really makes. Black Lightning, the show standout, is, it's a superhero show, but first and foremost, it's a show about family, because the, uh, the lead hero, Jefferson Pierce, he also is the hero of Black Lightning, but he also is a principal at a high school, and he also has daughters, daughters who eventually acquire superhuman powers, and they have to deal with that as well. You also have a mother. She doesn't have powers, but she's badass in her own right. She's a doctor. So you really see this family come together, not only dealing with their personal lives, but also their super-powered lives, and how that may not necessarily be all rainbows and unicorns with the life. Maybe there's gonna be some problems. Maybe there's gonna be some tension. Maybe not, I don't know. I'd say check it out, find out for yourself. The villain, Tobias Whale, is fantastic. You get, he's albino, which is not something you're gonna see every day in your show. It's acted phenomenally. Again, I'm a little co incoherent right now because I'm just rambling on about this great show. I cannot praise it enough. So in regards to DC superhero shows, I think this one's on top. So definitely check it out. Great, great job, Brandon Ellis.